The Giga World, what is the Giga World? Well, John, the Giga World is Liberty Global's initiative to bring super fast broadband to as many people as possible in, in, in the Liberty Global footprint, mainly in Western Europe, but also in the Caribbean and Latin America. We see the Giga World as the coming together of technology and bandwidth and people to, to create new technology experiences and make sure people get the best benefit from the fastest broadband speeds that will carry the most data and thus ultimately transform people's lives and how they actually live and interact with technology. And the interesting thing is we're getting more and more connected as it goes along. I mean, yes, there are black spots, all that. But we're at the point where now we're connected, now we're gathering the data. What can we do with the data? Is that something you're seeing arise in your business? Well, definitely. The first phase was get more and more connected. But I wouldn't want to overestimate it. We say everybody's connected, but in our opinion, not everybody's connected to the broadband networks that they deserve or that they need. Mm -hmm. uh, to really get connected to the new technologies that are coming, we, we believe you need these giga speeds. Uh, so I would say all networks are not created equal. Um, now, once we get the bandwidth and connectivity in place, then the services and platforms and innovations will follow. Now, we're already seeing them in augmented reality and voice-activated technologies, but I absolutely convinced we've only merely scratched the surface. There's so many more things to come. But the first step was to get the great connectivity in there. Mm. Unfortunately, not everybody enjoys that. I mean, and that's why Project Lightning is our effort in, in Virgin Media UK and Ireland. To, to We're spending three billion sterling to connect four million extra extra premises to super fast broadband speeds. So that's the thing, I mean, you guys are, you know, pressing ahead. You're not being distracted by other programs or any of that. And, how is Project Lightning going on in terms of Ireland? Because, I mean, for a long time, my, my understanding of um, Virgin and before that was Cable Link and all, these are from names, but mainly it was big bastions like Dublin, maybe Waterford, Limerick, you know, big towns. How is Project Lightning making itself felt in Ireland? Well, Project Lightning is actually up and running in Ireland now, and I would say with great gusto. I mean, we're connecting exactly the number of homes we said we would in Ireland. I mean, in Northern Ireland here, we said 50,000, and we're exactly on track to do that. We're connecting up Bangor, Newton Ard, Straban, Ali Kelly. Uh, down south, I'm really happy to say, yeah, UPC, the, the forerunner of Virgin Media Ireland, was always seen as a metropolitan network, and that did include the obvious places, which were Dublin, Cork, say Waterford and Limerick. Um, but if you look at what we've been doing over the last 18 months, we've been connecting up Gorey, Arklow, Enniscorthy, Wexford, Ballina, uh, filling out network in Limerick, uh, so, some activity in Cork, Tullamore, Drogheda and Dundalk, where we've actually brought uh, fibre to the home one gig speeds. So the great thing about what we've been doing Project Lightning in Ireland, in my opinion, is we haven't been going back to as many as the usual suspects. And I don't think we could be accused of being metropolitan-centric in terms of the big cities. We're actually bringing uh, giga speeds to places that haven't had great broadband before. I mean, in many cases, it is ironic. The people who have waited the longest are now getting actually one gigabyte fiber speeds at the home. So they've waited a long time, but at least now they're getting future-proof broadband, which will last them for a very long time.